Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm trading the ES futures on a 2000 tick chart with a 21 EMA. So I've got the overnight highs up here, overnight lows down here. There was a perfect measured move down to there, so it's not surprising that it held as our overnight low. Um, so I just want to mention this first before I really get into it. So <laughs> um, I missed this right here. It was right when I was doing a chart post and I kind of lost focus because I, I, I got out of this trade right here and then you know I started doing the chart post and I just I just you know wasn't really focused I missed out on this and you know a lot of you got that um, we're posting in the side about it and yeah it, it does look good because you know when it pushes up really hard like that you can expect symmetry and we're, we just met a major measured move at that point notice this green measured move right there so that has a lot to do with this trade and when it rushes up like that and then it overshoots this you can expect a break and yeah, it looks good to just to push it down to the channel right here. And so, yeah, I missed out on that. I was just, you know, but basically I missed that. And then that caused me to emotionally enter on this trade right here. Because at this point, um, we were pushing off of, you know, this major measured move. And also we had this upturn in place. So it was a fight between the bears and the bulls. And that's what ended up forming this wedge right here. And so when it, when it looks, you know, good to... You know, buy and sell at the same time. It's best to just avoid everything altogether. Notice it was just, you know, forming this wedge right here. It was completely flat, the EMA. I shouldn't have been, you know, and then we had this right here. So I, I really should have considered that. Um, I basically just missed that, and then that kind of caused me to quickly enter on that. So it was just a, um emotional mistake, but... Um, yeah, I just wanted to address that because that that's kind of why I'm doing this video early. I'm just gonna you know stop trading early today, but um, but anyway, so I put my overnight highs. Yeah, I guess I already talked about the overnights, but um, so anyway, we had these two legs down here, and that's what ends up forming our overnight low. We push off of it right to the tick on that measured move, and we go into this uptrend here. We have a break, and then. You know, notice this, use this whole leg right here as a break of this uptrend. And then these are the first two real significant legs that are, you know, also broken out of this right here. Notice this downtrend break, new low. And then you have these two legs up. Uh, this is a no fill. You just, you know, I just didn't get filled on that. I only wanted to push it down to here because we were at the overnight low. So you can expect a reversal higher. But, you know, we did have these two attempts here and then it rushed back below the EMA. So, you know, you can expect that to at least test right there. The, uh, the lows of that range right there so but yeah I just didn't get filled on that so because you needed to get in with a limit order you don't want to you know push it that far out I mean once again we are off the overnight low that's a significant level so best to just you know play it safe but um but yeah so we have a couple legs down here we retest the overnight low you know we test it here test it again now the EMA was straight down at this point. I didn't want to fade this range right here. We were getting this bigger downtrend in play. So there's that. And then we have a small break. We attempt at a new low and then we just rock it on higher. We get this tiny failed second entry. You know, you'd have to go through this trend line right here. It's very small picture anyway, so I didn't like taking that, but it, it did lead to quite a big move up. Um, and so this uptrend here, we get a break. We push back below the EMA. We don't get an entry. It just shoots really high up here and then we have the second leg here we start correcting again first entry is off the EMA but then when you get the second entry you're already pushing far below the EMA and so you don't want to go along there and then we push back higher here it's kind of just getting choppy going back and forth above the EMA we go back above we go back below unfortunately there's just no good entries here so we push higher here and then we have a much bigger correction so that what that's what forms this green leg right here and so we have that leg, and then we start correcting down, and we go into this downtrend here. We have a small break, new low, you can see it that way, but really on a big picture, the way I view it is this downtrend break, first attempt lower, and then we have this measured move in play, and then we have one attempt break, two attempts to reach that measured move. So that's why I liked entering here. Um, Benji got, on, got in on this trade with me here, I noticed, so just thought I'd mention that. I like shouting out the members whenever I can. But um, so we pushed higher here. That's just one to one. That was for 51 ticks. So today's volatility was pretty crazy. So I was happy to see other people getting these trades. Um, and it was kind of congestive. It was pretty congestive. But um, the the context is so good. I mean, it's to complete. It's to make the second measured move like this. 
So we have that first leg correction. This downtrend is played out. You know, it has those two attempts to reach that measured move, pushing above the EMA. That looks great to, um, you know, for one to one. So anyway, we push higher here, we correct, we get this small second entry. That's really just one leg. Notice how we have a second equal leg after that. So we, we get that second entry pushing below the EMA. So you can't enter that. And then the, the signal bar is closing way up here. That's just too big. You're entering into the, the high of that move at that point. So you don't want to enter that. And then you have this higher low here. No way to get in on that. It doesn't even trigger once you get that huge bar. So we push lower here. And then we do start forming this, this uptrend from there. At first, I had it off of that swing. But it you know it broke. And then put it here. So we pushed higher here. We had this, this uptrend. It should be more like that it was kind of just like an uptrend break new high and then a correction and so we retested this high up here because clearly we were in this range right here and so we retested it right there pushing below the ema and then we got a higher low but you know no good signal bar and also this right here is just blocked like that higher low no good signal bar unfortunately and then at this point you do have it's more of a failed second entry but that's really just one leg up break so the way i view this is really just a higher low and drawing this right here and yeah I, I did miss out on this right here it does look pretty good because you do have that major measured move in play you're clearly pushing higher here so that does look good as a higher low because you held back again here once and then you went down retested it and then closed back up there so you just need to put your stop below the swing but i did miss out on that i was i was pretty tired this morning speaking of that um it's kind of off topic, but I just found out about this coffee called Death Wish Coffee, and it's like insane. It's it's like 5x caffeine or something, so usually I don't like to drink coffee because I like to try to avoid it because it kind of distracts me sometimes, um, like being over-caffeinated, but, um, <laughs> but usually I'll just have like a regular cup of coffee if I need it, but like I didn't get any sleep last night, and I had <laughs> some Death Wish Coffee. I just had the K-Cups, and I put it in the thing. I know this is off topic, but... um. It's just insane. So Death Witch Coffee is very good. It just completely reversed my sleepless night. <laughs> um, anyway, so where was I? Right here. So we push higher here. So notice we have these two legs up at this point here. And then we just rush back below. So notice that two legs up from stemming from retesting that channel right there. Or sorry, not channel, this range right here. And then after you get those two legs up, you rush back below. And unfortunately, that's not off of anything. So we can't take that higher low below the EMA. We don't know that's going to work. Unfortunately, we cannot take that. And then we do eventually top out here. We have this massive correction down, very sharp leg down. And there's unfortunately no way to get long right here. It's just one sharp move down. But then we push higher here. We get this higher low, which you can see to the tick. It's a failed second entry. On a big picture, that's just one leg up with a break. So I see that as a higher low. And it's pretty congestive, and it's not a very big picture trade anyway. So you do have to avoid that then we get a couple legs up and then we push down here and we can see that there's two legs down inside of this channel but it's really just one leg down except it's the second leg from this right here notice this measured move and i only liked one to one on this because i was afraid that we'd bounce off the high of this channel right here and the ema at the same time go down complete that measured move offer a failed breakout and then go to where we were expecting it so i just liked getting out at one to one right there but we did push higher here and then that's where this trade comes in that i was talking about earlier i kind of explained this area already but we reached that major measured move and we started pushing lower here it looks great just to get out at this channel right here and because yeah when you're at a major measured move like that that's a very significant level and so of course symmetry too we spike up to that level and then we spike back down it's very common if you look at your charts notice um, spikes up and spikes down they're all they always follow by the opposite um, or not always but it's very common to and then if you have a good if you're at a good context era you can trade based on that uh, you know the symmetry so so anyway we do push down here we bounce off that trend line it just it's really just one leg down you can't enter based on that but then here I kind of you know tricked myself I was kind of viewing it as a failed second entry it was really just an emotional trade from missing out on this and then um you know so I, I just entered that was trying to push it up to here i kind of viewed it as this failed second entry but really you know it was a fight between the 
um, bulls and the bears because we were just coming off a major measured move and we have this uptrend that was stemming from the overnight low. So it's really best to just wait for one side to win out and then stay with whatever side is more relevant. And so I should not have entered in that. That was just chop. Let me see. Would I have made one to one? I may, you know, maybe some contracts would get filled on one to one, but that still would have been a loss right there. Um, but anyway, so we push out here and then it looks like we, because I didn't trade for a lot of this. I kind of stopped after that because I was just kind of feeling ups upset. But, um, but anyway, so we push down here. We start going to this move down here and then this uptrend this is the first attempt higher for this uptrend on a small picture you could see like this move up here as the first attempt higher for this uptrend but notice how it's kind of just following it along with this down move right here so really I view it as uptrend break first attempt higher and then we can get possible second attempt higher so like right here uptrend break first attempt higher second attempt higher and then it'd be good to look for a failure to go short in this area right here um, so yeah, that's basically how I view it today. I'm just, I'm just stopping early, you know, um, just, you know, just kind of an emotional trading day for me. Yeah, the, but today was like, you know, the volatility was great. I, I love days like this, but I, I'm just going to call it. So, um, yeah, we got that attempt, attempted breakout pullback. It was just one sharp leg and then it got choppy and we pushed lower. Then we have a couple legs up here, retesting right there. So you can see, let me draw that measured move really quick. So notice how I inc I'm including that uptrend, then that small break, new high, all in the same measured move right there. So two legs up here, retesting that range, third bounce. I think that looks pretty good because you, you can see this congestion. You'd want to get out before these lows right here. Um, yeah, maybe I should have stayed trading a little bit longer. I could have got, I could have got that. But um, yeah, you'd want to get out before that right there because once again, you, you do have that measured move in play. Now it does look like we are going to this downtrend, and it looks pretty strong. So uh, you know, I don't mind entering entering this just as long as you get out before those lows. But um, because realistically, you could just push down here and then have another leg back up here. So you, you got to be careful because these measured moves are, you know, they're very strong. But um. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope it was helpful, and I hope I explained my thought process on this uh, loser here. But um, but yeah, so either way, it was a good day. You know, this was a massive trade. I still have most of this trade in the bank. So anyway, I guess that's going to do it, and yeah, I'll see you all next time.